Hello if you are so going back from the TV, but I'm not going to pay any attention to this. My app is just rude and spoke much more. And you can use it for that. Come back to me. Thank you for listening. You need to buy something. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to advocate no such thing. I'm going to show you. As we are away, good to our. Pese pano ito ma elections zime nyika ibu kana paninga pata reza kutipaitwa democracy ayiwaka vano recommend uye vano recognize ajiku ngratulate a specific country ito shateka wana utipaka jetea rusi ni liku South Africa asimi sara na asita wana ujakare vachiju hita aku yuke hii apu pa wange vachikuru kuteza Prime Minister aka wina recently apo pataka wawona vashipasa a congratulatory message vashiti this will be done in Zimbabwe. Rakare tunoda utu ufumi kana utu ushamari awe UK ina Zimbabwe usimparaz kwenye demokrasi kwa tezurukuiti ka AGS for now. Nukuda kukuti avasiri kuda kwa asosieta ni mbava avasiri kuda kwa asosieta ni vanu vasinga respect my human rights nukuda aruta wawona ibu vashitaura vashiti Congratulation I sincerely and heartily congratulate the new UK Prime Minister Say a case Tama and the UK Labour Party when the landslide victory they recorded in the general elections. After witnessing the seamless UK election, I wish to congratulate everyone that participated in the electoral process. This is a win for democracy, a win for better ideas, and in need, a win for the whole world. It's always refreshing and inspiring at witness democracy in action and citizens empowered through, a, through the ballot. Citizens' voices must always count and matter. It is our faith and hope that the new UK government will promote stronger ties between Zimbabwe and the UK. Zimbabwe currently battles illegitimacy, disputed elections, contested national processes, endemic corruption, and heightened authoritarianism. The Zimbabwe-UK relations must be tied, must be must be strengthened. We look forward to our working together in strengthening our diplomatic and trade ties opening up opportunities for businesses, investment, and transformation in both countries. We will endeavor to build a better and world and a stronger commonwealth for all. There is democracy in action, UK force, labor factory. Congratulate a UK prime minister who hit Iwaka into democracy. And like it's a kite to Mzibabu, so 23 August. And like it's a kite to a kare kata truku wana zirukiti kaku Kenya. Nga vachiti jese iji, tunozo wana kote ni maa citizens. Wana zo tanga kupandu kila urumendi ni kuda. Kote wana nga wana kote zirukiti wa shacho. Hai waka azucha batiri, shwa kare. Na vari oppressed. Nga kuda haro mka wana wo ita iji. Fani nga wana sana. Kuda kwa jesu nungura. Asi ita wana wangu wa chipindu wa wana usonisha misa vachiti. When I watched the UK election, these are some of the things I admired. Number one, the efficiency of process. Number two, the media playing its role and even state media not being partisan. Number three, the speed of announcing the results, the process of transition, smooth transfer of power in a sh in a show. Uh, in a smooth transfer of power in a certain type of country, it's unfortunately command voting and command counting, which just leads to illegitimacy, is the order of the day. We all await the new Zimbabwe. We love what Nelson Chamisa is speaking right now. Congratulations to UK Minister. Other countries are executing and exercising democracy in their electoral processes. Pre, during, and post election period. We wish the same to also happen in the Zimbabwe. One day is one day. With God, it is impossible. Uh, the, it is impossible and it shall happen in our nation. Comrade President Nelson Chamisa, please, Rambai Makajanya. That's a presidential statement. Um, we all wish for a better Zimbabwe in our lifetime. In our lifetime, whereby the voice of the people matters more than those who were voted for. 
na mwaka inaenda mbele bashit indeed zimbabwe is a crime scene Government came early. Many lessons for you on how Kestama won Lepa and been out of power for 14 years. No strategic ambiguity. No bereka, no bereka wana, no Holy Spirit advisor, no resigning from this party. He united Labour and united team and won. His shadow ministers are now in the cabinet. Greetings, Mr. Chamisa. What a wonderful word. You will never walk alone. We love you, Chamisa. Indeed, we are indeed we are the no important important and this is where coups must never be allowed where democracy thrives no one few peoples are uh, here they impose their will when the majority by fraud by fraudulently are tripling their nine hundred thousand votes or so as they appear as they are the majority force but it doesn't start by winning. They run a transparent opposition. Shadow government with each shadow ministry have policies that were audited and explained over 14 years. An opposition ends when they were deemed ready, they were put into office. There is no strategic ambiguity. Beautiful, our chain is coming too. Anyone who was a government official in Zimbabwe during GN Hill cannot fight corruption. BT was the finance minister and gave three million US dollars to Changrai to buy a house with less than hundred K thousand. Chamisa was dealing with Mugabe through Gushungo Holdings. The main went back to basics incorporated those who were in 20 place government the two previous labor leaders wanted to do something different removed experience and competent members from the party leadership and lost election dismally zimbabwe needs your leadership said chamiso with you we really believe zimbabwe will be some way in the near future as you can appreciate there was no religion in ambiguity and strategic no violent and etc did comrade barazero send his congratulation message hope you learned something about being practical changing is coming in, in Changing is coming to Zimbabwe very soon. Unfortunately, Nelson Shamisa, the UK recognized the ED, ED visas, the legitimate president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. No matter how much we don't like it, in light of this, we are no longer battling an illegitimate issue. We just get our act together. You have our support. Congratulations. You mentioned endemic corruption, but I have not seen you speaking about mega corruption scandals that have been rocked our country, not even one day. Why are you silent? Prime Minister Wiko Aka winners Nim Sindo or whatever one of which is in a congratulatory message. And I don't know if you have comment section. As can I do this? May God be here. Subscribe to my more information for more updates. Till next time, bye for now.